Now if you watched my last video, you know I just finished my double flip top outfit table. And I wanted to do something really special for the tabletop. So that's why I decided to go with a carbon fiber top. This video is about making that top and all you've seen me do so far is prep my material. After adding a quarter inch round over, I painted the entire tabletop black. Now the reason you do this is just in case there's any distortion in the carbon fiber weave, painting the surface black will just make sure that it hides any of the wood grain. Now I did make a sample piece while my paint was drying and the biggest reason for this is just to make sure that I could cut the carbon fiber with a regular woodworking blade. And you can see here that it cut beautifully. For this project I used a 2x2 twill weave carbon fiber. With any carbon fiber you really got to be careful how you're handling it just to make sure that you're not stretching or distorting the pattern. You also want to make sure that when you're cutting the material that you're doing that in such a way where it's not going to come all apart on you. One trick that I did was just using regular green painters tape to cut along that line. This worked really well. However, one thing I learned after watching a couple of videos after the fact that you can actually just take out a section of the carbon fiber threads. You just nick one end with a pair of scissors and then slide out a section. That makes it super easy to basically have a line to cut along. And again, it doesn't distort the weave or break up the weave too much. Now all the products used in this video were supplied by Total Boat. If you're looking to do something like this, uh, there's actually a discount coupon below and you can pick everything up that you need from Total Boat's website. And I do want to say thanks to Total Boat for <laughs> always supporting my crazy ideas. Uh, this is probably something a little bit out of the norm for a woodworking channel, but I really am loving working with carbon fiber. We've got a couple parts that we're making for the motorcycle, kind of different but similar processes with the carbon fiber, but we're having tons of fun with it. So if there's more carbon fiber stuff you want to see, let me know. And don't be surprised if it sneaks its way into another video. I used Total Bolt High Performance Epoxy and after letting it sit for about 20 minutes, it was just getting tacky so my son and I laid out our carbon fiber material, again making sure as best as we could not to distort the carbon fiber weave. We also set this up just on upside down cups, just so we had a bit of a standoff. Uh, this made it so it didn't well stick to the table, but also it gave us some room to be able to add some tape to add a bit of a mechanical advantage to really help that carbon fiber wrap around that quarter inch round over on the top. I did try this on one of my test pieces without adding a round over and the carbon fiber really didn't bend very well over a 90 degree. So I did reach out to Total Boat and ask for some suggestions and they made the suggestion to add a bit of a round over to the tabletop and it worked perfectly. I am super happy with how this turned out. Uh, the camera did die as we were messing around with it last night. How we finished is by just kind of hand pressing in some of the epoxy over the edges once we had everything taped down and mechanically secured. The plan for today is to leave this alone. Uh, we're just gonna let it cure for the day. I know that it's dry, but some of the epoxy is a tiny, tiny bit gummy. So before we start messing with it, we're totally gonna let it dry completely. And it was a few days later when we came back and my youngest son and I started to prep the tabletop to add some walnut accents on the side. I did this for two reasons. One because, well, it's walnut. And the other reason is because I actually cut this too short and I needed to add about an inch on each side of the tabletop to make it the right size for the outfit table. I love being able to involve my kids as much as I can in these projects. My wife actually is becoming more involved as well, but even being able to have the opportunity to teach my son how to use tools safely has been so much fun. He's almost 12 and he's got some interest in doing this, so it's great when he comes up to the garage and hangs out with me and I can just kind of show him a few things. That's probably one of my best parenting tips is if you have hobbies, if you have things that you love to do. Bring your loved ones along the way. Don't make it an individual thing. I had some scrap walnut from another project, so I just used my track saw to joint this just because it had such a poor edge to it. And with that jointed edge, I was able to run the material through my table saw. And yes, I know the blade is too high. You probably have noticed if you've watched other videos of mine that I've got a lot of flip tops in my shop. Uh, right now standing total is five and this is one of them and this is my motorized planar flip top which is built into my hand tool workbench 
and this is super extra, and I know that. I mean, heck, I'm putting a carbon fiber top on my LP table. This for me is just some exciting stuff that keeps my workspace a little bit more creative and a little bit more fun, having some extra things in there that are a little bit more unique to me. I use my domino to be able to attach, you know, what I'll call my breadboard ends of walnut to the tabletop. This is really inexpensive birch plywood and it actually had a bit of a twist to it. So adding these uh, walnut ends really actually helped. It actually helped straighten it out a little bit and I was pretty, pretty happy with the mistake, I guess you could say. I put my domino on the tightest setting and we just glued them in place and used these bandy clamps from Rockler just to be able to hold them as the glue was drying. This is probably about a week later my son was still interested in getting out to the garage and, and helping me so it was nice to have this as kind of a, a thing for him and I to do and we kind of jokingly started to call our evenings in the garage tabletops and teas and we'd get some iced tea and go hang out in the garage and work on the tabletop. I used the same epoxy on holding the material down as I did building up layers of material on top and this is just Total Boat's high performance. We did about three layers of this sanding in between and in retrospect I probably would go back now and add a couple more layers. One thing that I, I noticed kind of as we went is there was still some lines, high spots, low spots from using the trowel in the way we did. So if I was to do this again, and I'll probably do this again, I would definitely build up at least five to six layers and go back and sand them down as much as possible to make sure I have as smooth as a tabletop as I could. Oh, also along the way, we were sanding the other side just to take care of any drips. And I did want to make sure to not leave the underside of the walnut exposed. So I went back with some Halcyon finish and just did a couple coats of that, just so there wouldn't be any unequal wood movement. Moving into the finishing process, I started about 120 grit and worked my way up to, I believe about 1200. And for sandpaper, I'm just using the Merca wet dry uh, Abernat sandpaper and this stuff's awesome you just spray down your surface and slowly work back and forth one tip that I got from my buddy Ben from Wobie Design was to turn the speed way down on your sander I did notice a big difference doing it this way the sander for sure didn't jump around as much so thanks Ben Anyways, for finish, I did add a couple coats of the Halcyon Clear in a matte. And I went with a matte because I don't want this to be too reflective when I'm working on it. I do a lot of filming in my garage, obviously, so uh, having a reflective surface is not ideal. After several coats of the Halcyon finish, this was done. And I love how it just kind of ties everything together. I have gotten a lot of good jokes, though, just about how, you know, my outfit table can do a 10 second mile. But, you know, I'm okay with it. I really like the look. If you have any questions or comments or even better tips about how to use carbon fiber, I'd love to see you share those below. If you did learn something from this video, please let me know. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and smash that. Thanks everyone.